Now there's been some road construction in Nina for quite some time now, so I gotta kinda take a little detour to go home. I can't take the route that I normally go. And I'm about maybe four or five minutes from home. But I'm gonna take a detour today. Today's Sunday, and I work Sunday morning. And one of my favorite traditions that I've always had in recent memory is going to church with my grandma Alice Sunday morning. When she moved into my house and was living with me, it was fun to take grandma to church and go to church together. And I don't know, it's just something that she really, really enjoyed and uh, I enjoyed being part of that. Now, instead of going straight here because all these detour signs, I'm going to take a left. Uh, however, doing so takes me right past Grandma Alice's rest home, the Sterling house. So, right down that way, about a block or two, that's where Grandma hangs her hat and bathrobe these days. And, uh, I gotta admit that I haven't been spending as much time coming to visit Grandma. I've been kind of super happy with my life. I got a new son, got a lovely fiance. Life is pretty good. I haven't been fired yet. You know, I kind of got the life. I got life by the horns, and Grandma isn't doing so well. She uh, every time I come in, it seems she remembers a little bit less each time I come in, and. Uh, Last time was really heartbreaking because she was taking a little bit of a nap and I woke her up and she didn't even kind of remember who Grandpa Bob was. And Grandpa Bob is the unforgettable. I mean, Grandpa Bob is Grandma Alice's anchor. So, I've been thinking, you know, chances are it won't be too long and Grandma Alice is going to go and meet Grandpa Bob again. And it makes me wonder if my little guy, Baby Gabriel, is going to have any living memory of Grandma Alice, which would be her great-grandma Alice. His, excuse me, his great-grandma Alice. And I've been kind of thinking, well, how can I make a memory that Gabriel will remember forever with great-grandma Alice? I can think of something. One of the best things about spending time with Grandma is stories. But for once, I get to tell my beloved Grandma a story. And this is how I didn't become a great piano player. And I got a new friend here named Jerry with a G, who's got the same name I do. So this is, is going to be a good story. This is what stopped me from becoming a good piano player, Grandma. A pair of false teeth. My piano teacher, Mrs. Jones, God bless her, I don't know if she's still with us or not, but she, you know how the metronome keeps oh, yeah. time? She used to keep time with her false teeth, Grandma. Oh, she, she would make noises with her false teeth. It drove me crazy, Grandma. <laughs> it drove me crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I had, to, I, I had to quit. I had to quit, you know, and I probably could have found a different piano teacher, but, you know, then I was kind of like, eh. Yeah, who cares? You know, like I'm going to play baseball or whatever or basketball, and I never, but I really... Wish oh, now wow. that I would have stuck with piano because it's I'll, a beautiful thing. I bet you regret it. Yeah, well, I was, you know, showing the kids how to play sure. at uh, at work today, and it felt really good. You yeah. know, you know, even though like my skills aren't great, I still remember enough to teach the kids how to play the basics. You know, yeah. so something I wish I would have stuck with. So. Oh, well, but what got me was that my sister is five years older. <laughs> I could, I would labor so hard on those damn keys to get some music out of them. And she. <laughs> and I have such little hands, Grandma. Give, give me a hand here. See, my hands, like, my, they're bigger than yours, but they're not really that big. You know, I don't have those big, burly man hands no, that everybody tall wants. Tall and slender. Yeah. So the musical I, hands is what they are. Yeah. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe there's still time for these little fingers to start tickling the ivories again. Because I'd sure like, I'd sure. You should do it. That'd be, that'd, be, that'd be a good hobby. Yeah, you should start trying.